Okay, I've been asked a few times why I picked the ArcDroid CNC plasma cutter instead of a regular, you know, table, plasma table. And this is the reason. This is my space, the third stall in my garage. It's tiny. So um, I picked uh, one that will fit. So I still can do other projects, welding, whatever, uh, whatever comes up. But when I need to, I can pull this out too. So. I figured I'd do a quick video showing uh, what it takes to set it up in my garage and uh, maybe that'll help someone make a decision whether or not they want to do the same thing. So I'll do a time lapse thing. This won't be real long, just so you can see. And uh, as far as cutting, uh, I got a request for another Christmas ornament. So I'm going to cut that real quick and uh, we'll see how so you can see what it takes to set it up, cut something and put it away. Okay, so that's how long it takes me to set this thing up. Um, I've got another one of the Christmas ornaments. Uh, my mother-in-law asked me to do one for her friend, Marlene. So uh, I took the blank and added the name Marlene and added the uh, bridges to the font. So it should look okay. So um, get my shades and let's just cut it out and see what it looks like. All right, like I said, this is a short one. I just wanted to show the real answer or the main answer for me personally why I went with the Arc Droid. It fits in my garage and it was the first to answer. I mean, I looked at a lot of things before I saw the, uh, the fundraiser for the Arc Droid. And then I was like, if that ever happens, I'm gonna buy one. Well, it did and I bought one and I don't regret it for a second. The reason being, if I had a a table here I don't know what I would do with it it would be the only thing I could do in here so anyway uh, the other thing the Arcdroid has the trace function which is really cool anyway so got the Mar Marlene ornament done so mother-in-law will be happy and wife will be happy so uh, chances of me being happy are much higher anyway that's it thank you <laughs>